parking just up from Carlingill Bridge, we make our way over Knowles to Linghaw. Continuing along the path, we arrive at the highest summit of the day, Fellhead, and its two lovely cairns. We then enjoy a lovely ridge walk over Brakeshead, Windscarf, and Weathercalf Moss before a final small ascent to Simon's Seat. From there, we make our way along another nice ridge to the Trig Pillar on Middleton. We then retrace our steps before a short drop to Great Blee Gill before a steep ascent to Docker Knot, followed by a short ridge walk to the fell top of Hand Lake. Descending south, we make our way to a small valley area known as Blakethwaite Stone, and then we pick up a path that takes us to a waterfall for a quick break on the Great Ulgill Beck. It's then onwards, staying on the rising path to see the waterfall on Carling Gill Beck known as the Spout. Staying on the path, we ascend a little bit more before I persuade the team to descend via a very steep scramble to the base of Black Falls Waterfall. After really having a nice time there, we then follow the Carling Gill Beck back to the car. Mary and Derek joined us today, and though a dull day, we had good visibility, and as always on these Howgill walks, it was just us and the fells. It really is just a pleasure to Miranda over these lovely fells, and within just a few metres of ascent, we're already getting perfect views of the whole area. Fellhead has two prominent summits and we reached the lower one at 623 metres after only just 45 minutes of gentle ascent. There's Calders and the calf. We managed to knock out Bush Howe on that walk, as you probably have seen on previous videos, enabling us just to stick to this lovely ridge. And what a ridge! Look at that! Fantastic! So we've just done Fell End, which is over there. And this is just marked on the map as Cairn, but 
basically it's the top of Fell End really. The old M6 down there. And these are the ones we always pass when we're on our way to the lakes and think, oh, wouldn't mind doing those. Well now we have. All those are done and we're just finishing them off. Fantastic. What a day. Weather's held out for us. Well done the weather. Thank you to the mountain god. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, this is not the Lake District or the Yorkshire Moors, but I've really grown to love these remote, vast green hills. And as Wainwright says in his book, where else can you walk all day knowing full well that not another soul will be seen? I can't wait to come back here in September. What a wonderful green ridge walk this was, and it takes us to a summit that sports a trig pillar. Yet, for some reason, this top is not worthy of any mention on the hill bagging website. Now why is that?
with all our fell tops now bagged, we were now on the hunt for the waterfalls described in Wainwright's book. We knew it had been dry, but we still thought it was worth the effort. Diet definitely required. Cool. Less beer, I think.
What a cracking day this was with good company and I'd like to revisit Black Force when it is more angry if I get the chance. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this adventure in the Howgills. Thanks for watching. I hope you can join us on our 22nd of September meetup. Everyone's welcome. Now don't forget to check out the rest of our website with the 214 Wainwrights all captured on video, including the outlying fells and several long distance walks in various parts of this wonderful country. Hopefully one day we'll see you out there. Thanks for watching.